You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Lieutenant General Hun Manite encouraged all American companies to continue investing and doing business in Cambodia during a meeting with the U.S. ASEAN Business Council. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more details. On Tuesday evening, Lieutenant General Hun Manette met with the Ambassador Senior Vice President and Regional Managing Director of the U.S. Asian Business Council, Michael Mikalak, at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Phnom Penh. During the meeting, Lieutenant General Hun Manette welcomed the U.S. Asian Business Council delegation comprising of different U.S. companies to come and visit Cambodia annually to explore more businesses, solutions and increase U.S. investment opportunities in the kingdom. He further encouraged all American companies to continue investing and doing business in Cambodia, which has proved to be a fast-growing country in almost every industry and sector. Ambassador Michael Mikalak in turn thanked the Jet Lieutenant General Hun Manet for providing the US Asian Business Council delegation an opportunity to meet with him, especially as he's the chosen future Prime Minister candidate of the Cambodian People's Party. He also congratulated Cambodia on its success in chairing the Asian US Summit and other relevant meetings in 2022, which he said it was the strengthening US Cambodia relations even more. Ambassador Mikalak also wished Cambodia success in hosting the Southeast Asian Games and in holding the general election in July. The US Asian Business Council is more than 37 years old and has more than 180 members, including those from Fortune 500 companies. The council's latest visit to the Cambodia brought a delegation of 10 members interested in expanding business and investment in Cambodia, supporting the country's economic recovery plan, making future advancements in technology and innovation, providing access to SME financing, exploring the energy and infrastructure industry, producing high value added products, training human resources and many more. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.